Enigmatic E. Hey everyone, right now I am downloading a beta of After Effects and it should have Rotoscope 3. I just finished downloading right now. I want to give a shout out to Patches Flows who just told me about this. He's like, bro, you got to get on this right away. So the way you download this is you come to your creative cloud, you come down to where it says beta apps, you come down here until you find After Effects. I already downloaded it, so it's not down here anymore. I'm going to pull up something to search for my apps. I'm going to put After Effects beta and here it is. I'm going to click on that and then we're starting up as this is starting up. I am going to be looking for a clip that I can try to rotoscope. I think it's this guy from Borderlands, I believe. I never played that game, but anyways, but this is where we're going to really test how good this new rotoscoping is. So, so I'm going to export this. All right. So let's bring this clip right into here. So I'm going to come here to where you see this little person with a brush on top of it. And it says roto brush right there when you hover over it. And then you click on that. I'm going to come here to the layer of my footage and I'm going to double click on that. And then it's going to open this window right here. And as soon as I use the roto brush like that, you're going to see on the left side here, it says roto brush and refine edge. And it's going to say version 3.0. So this is the version we want to test out. This is brand new. So let's go ahead and just brush all over this. I'm pressing alt to remove whatever I don't want selected. So I'm just painting over this to get the things that I do want. We're just going to test how well this does. So I actually tried to rotoscope this footage before and I was struggling with it because there's just so much going on in the background that this had a hard time. So did a really rough rotoscope. Now let's actually test it out. I'm just going to press space and then see how well it tracks everything. Wow. It's, it's not perfect. I can already see like the, the, the little jitters right here, but like everything else it's tracking. It's so, so well, it's definitely better than 2.0. I can definitely already see the difference. Uh, you can see it here without the background and you know, that was just me just running it once. And, uh, I remember when I was rotoscoping this the first time I had to uh, like, it was not this clean. So I, just for demonstration's sake, I went ahead and rotoscoped using 2.0 and I wanted to compare it to show the difference. Pretty much the same exact thing. So let's track this. This is 2.0. It's already tracking other people in the background. It's, it's yeah, look at this. It's tracking other people. It's like not tracking the body anymore. It's not tracking this thing that the object that this guy is holding. Like it's, it's so much worse. Look at this. This is 2.0. And this is the 3.0 again. It's not perfect, but look at how it's, it's not getting stuff in the background as much. It's not, it's keeping track of this object. That's not even like part of his body, but it's just this object that he's holding and it's keeping track of it so much better. Um, definitely, definitely an improvement. So let's test out this clip right here. I just did an animation about this just recently. And I remember how painstakingly I rotoscoped this. So let's see if this is a lot easier now. And I'm just doing this like super fast just for demonstration sake. So I'm not going to actually rotoscope it super perfectly, but I do hope that I can do it faster. Just highlight this guy. All right. So this is what we're working with right here. Oh, actually there's some stuff on here. Okay. So let's go ahead and press space and see how well this tracks. Wow. Okay. I can tell you right away. What's the, what is doing better than, than my first rotoscope. First time I did this, it was not rotoscoping the fingers. Like I, I spent so long rotoscoping those fingers that it's, it, it's crazy that it's actually following it. Now look at this. I had to rotoscope those fingers painstakingly rotoscope those fingers before it's so much better. It's so much better. I, 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 this would be done for me. Maybe a little bit of touch ups here, but yeah, this would be done for me. Yeah, I would be done. Like I think just here. I would take this off, but this, this, this edit the way it is, I'm done. I, I, I would have done been done rotoscoping. I'm not lying. This is regular after effects. It's going to be, I'm going to do the exact same thing I just did with the other video. I, I have a very similar rotoscope as the first one. Now let's play that. Look at the fingers. 
it's trash, right? You see this? It just keep it's not even tracking the Gatling gun. Look at this. Look at let me look at it. Let's look at it back. Look at look at the fingers. This is like trash compared to what we just did right now. Yeah, I didn't even get the gun or anything. So it's definitely an improvement. This is definitely a step forward for After Effects. And I am super, super happy that we have the ability to do this a lot easier now because it was such a pain to do it how we used to do it before. So definitely check this out. Um, let me download it. Let me know what you think about it. I don't know what other improvements the beta has, so I'm definitely going to have to look into that. But I wanted to test this out really quick because this is a tool, like I said, that I use so much and I know a lot of people use it as well. And all right. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, for more videos, subscribe. And until next time, take care. God bless. Peace.